Hi friends, good evening, and I am Manju here, and I want to uh, just in, uh, teach you in this video about regarding ETL testing engineer, uh, the introduction part and uh, project architecture, and also roles and responsibility and uh, about uh, daily activities. So here, uh, this is very important thing that how you have to uh, give your intro with your project architecture and also uh, with uh, roles and responsibility and what all the tools you are using and what about your experience so in single shot you can crack the interview so this is very important session so kindly watch the complete video that you will understand the some and gain the some knowledge here okay so before moving to start the video uh, kindly subscribe to my channel if you're not uh, subscribed and like my video so that you will get important ETL testing SQL Oracle the videos okay so let us move to the PPT slide what I made here and I am making slides because uh, so that I can explain you uh, in very uh, best pattern okay so this is what the ETL test associate introduction and project architecture I am going to explain here and the roles and responsibilities so candidate introduction so whenever uh, the interview is going to start it starts with the candidate introduction so first thing is very important you should be always cool and calm okay so uh, don't take any of the tension in your mind while giving interview so be cool and calm and then move to introduction part so interviewer may ask you uh, introduce yourself so you can say here myself is your name and I have 4.2 years of experience in IT industry and in that I have 3.8 years as ETL test engineer and remaining as manual test engineer so coming to my latest project was done with Primark store UK so you can put your client here base client which is mainly related to retail domain analysis here in this project I use what all the tools use you have to mention here oracle as database sql is for writing the and validating the query data informatica as etl tool toad is for accessing the data zira is defect tracking and management tool so roles and responsibilities coming to roles and responsibilities here you have to uh, just uh, go uh, go through one flow okay so don't behave the things and don't give any definitions here like the it should not happen like uh, the candidate is prepared like uh, he is uh, telling the things like uh, definitions okay so be natural and uh, be quiet and simple using simple words okay you should not uh, that is not a mandatory that you should use uh, very technical words here okay be simple and uh, in simple words you can say all your rules and responsibilities so the thing is here initially when project is allotted we go through the STM source target mapping document or BRD business required document so in that document it's clearly mentioned what client requirement is so as we can analyze the client requirement properly there is there in STM document it is mentioned source table business logic and target table with data because the interviewer may ask you and he may stop you and ask you uh, what is in SDM document so you can before he ask you just uh, don't give chance to ask him question okay so before this you, you just tell him in STM document there is a source table and business logic and the target table with data as business logic it's mentioned uh, they like uh, what business logic client wants like uh, for example consider for retail domain in that client wants only to load the in target that the items sold distinct records this, these are the some examples okay so uh, and or maximum items sold a days with particular date or you can say like uh, which item is less sold or other like particular employee how much uh, he is getting salary with how much increment percentage so these things are simple uh, business logics okay so in real time you may get the different logics so just for uh, uh, clarity purpose I mentioned these things <coughs> and like to uh, remove unwanted uh, or repeated data records 
okay like this uh, client have some business logics so we have perform and provide them a report for analysis the business metric key feeds to analyze the business and make business up okay so roles and responsibility continues here then i start test case plan because we need to plan the test cases before writing test cases like in which uh, way or in what way if i write the test cases then it will be more effective or it may have more efficiency so start writing test cases and submit those test cases to peer review once approved by team lead then i start executing test cases and also code is deployed in the testing environment by developer so if actual result and expected results okay then no worries but if we get deviation between actual and expected results then i have to observe the things carefully by investing some time if it's solved by me then it's okay otherwise i need to discuss uh, with on site coordinator team lead developer and client based on call discussion i need to raise the defect report to the particular developer and here the developer undergo four scenarios like open reject duplicate and defer so open means what whatever i raise the defect is valid and he start working on that reject whatever i raise the defect report is invalid just he inform me to recheck and duplicate is whatever the defect raised by me is already raised by another tester so defer means it's not so important serious defect so they may not consider in current release and might be in future so once it is fixed by the developer then i go for retesting the test cases and finally report status to the team lead so these are the roles and responsibilities of etl tester so here general work activities of etl testing engineer like initially when morning or when your duty starts so i go through checking outlook because all companies are using outlook as mailing purpose daily after sign in and if any mails require response i respond for those mails i have stand up call meeting discussion daily uh, there we can discuss what the yesterday we did and uh, today what we are going to do is there any obstacles to execute the test cases so if inform to scrum master once scrum master resolve those obstacles then uh, again move to executing the test cases so these are the general work activities okay so uh, coming to project architecture so here you can see uh, source layer what it is displayed here is so source layer there i have different source of files so you can see here flat file is there db is there xml files are there so this is what landing layer root folder once source files all source files are landed into the root folder of the landing layer then uh, one copy is archived copies uh, just store for uh, future purpose and then when all the conditions are met according to the data and client requirement then those data are moving to the staging layer okay so this is what staging layer where it is applied cleansing of data cleansing of data is nothing but removing unwanted data or removing duplicate data removing null values this thing is called as cleansing the data okay according to the business logic client how it, it is want and applying business logics okay here we have to apply the business logic like uh, what exactly client want so how much products are sold on particular date and uh, this simple logics only okay so after this then data is going for in data warehouse so here uh, the in data warehouse uh, the main thing the high level validations occur in data warehouse like high level validations means uh, comparison between source table and uh, target table like uh, record count so we have to count the records from source table to target table if in uh, 50 records are there in source table then it must be 50 records in target table so this is is for record counting uh, so then uh, du duplicate check okay by using group by clause and then also uh, null value checking and uh, using minus query we have to check whether the expected result from source to target it is loaded perfectly or not Uh, these are called as uh, high level validations after that we can use uh, sld type 2 validations for uh, initial load and incremental load okay so initial load and incremental load 
uh, this video I the my next video that is okay uh, after this video I am making that only the initial load what is initial load and what is incremental load what are the uh, SLD types so you can go this okay you can uh, see that video my next uh, coming video is on uh, initial load and incremental load and uh, SLD type validation so after data warehouse the data is loading into the data mass as the data is subject oriented so all the data is moved to the uh, data mass so from there uh, all the employees or all the customers or all the uh, business people can access the data corresponding respective data so this is what the project architecture okay this is very simple project architecture and uh, in almost all the ETL project architecture is 99% uh, uh, same like this only okay so then moving to next so extract the data from different sources like uh, flat file db xml and load into the landing layer root folder there what uh, in project architecture just i explained here so the, the data is moved to staging layer there you can remove unwanted duplicate null data and apply business logics here so then data moves to data warehouse where you can perform high level validations like recover count validations that is query goes like this uh, select count of star from source table and select count of star from the target table so both records must be same so if you are getting difference uh, so might be there is in a target table like uh, duplicate data occurs or null values are occurs okay uh, we have to then analyze why those extra defaults are coming there okay so this is what the thing here and then go for duplicate check using a group by clause in target table uh, so like uh, select id and uh, count of id so we have to select one unique column id okay so from target table group by id having count of id is greater than one so you can uh, by using this query you can check the duplicate content duplicate records in table target table so here check null values are in data if they are required to remove null and replace by other data as per the business logic okay so this is what uh, to check the null value select id uh, comma first name comma how much columns you want from table name uh, I where id is null or uh, first name is null or uh, how much columns you have uh, we can just write the query like this and you will get if there is a null value occurs you will get the null values then you can decide whether the null values can be replaced by other some other values or you should remove so according to business logics okay client how client wants so uh, then finally use minus query to check whether as per requirement of data uh, source is loaded from the source data is loaded perfectly to the target or not so by using minus query goes like this select star from source table minus select star from target table and vice versa okay so if any uh, the data is uh, it, it must be result must be zero okay so if you minus source table uh, from source table to target table the result must be zero and if you minus star from target table to source table the result must be zero then only you can come to conclusion that the all the data is perfectly loaded from source to target table so if you are getting any of the records where any of the data then uh, it should consider as the, the uh, data is not completely as per requirement it is not loaded to the target so this is very important so then uh, we go for uh, the SLD type 2 validations for initial and incremental load so uh, finally load data into the data mart as the data is subject oriented okay so this is what the thing is here so uh, welcome and my next video is uh, on SLD types and initial and incremental loads so don't miss the uh, video this is very important my next video is so uh, thank you for watching so if you really like this video kindly like my video and uh, subscribe to my tech channel so that's a really great uh, motivation thing for me to make some more videos for you people and so thank you very much for watching complete video uh, so we'll meet in uh, next video Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Uh, take care.